Hey everyone, this is a video on how to do some stuff with PDF, that is how to uh, print a PDF into um, have a few pages per output page and also how to concatenate PDFs. So let's start with something like this. I've got lecture slides from uh, a given week and it's one page, one slide per page and I want to turn this into the equivalent um, I want to take six slides and put them on a single page, so it's just easier to see what's going on. Uh, and it saves me paper, blah blah blah. So I got, now, you would think that it's pretty straightforward, but there is one little twist. You just go to print in document viewer, which is events for the old time, and we'll call it right way up. And what you do is you go to pages per side, now I want six, and the key here is to choose your paper size, in this case A4, and you don't choose, if you go portrait, then it'll print it basically on landscape, uh, and if you go landscape, it'll print it on portrait, so you want landscape, but what you want is reverse landscape, otherwise it'll print upside down. So if you go reverse landscape, print, yeah, we'll go with that one, then what you'll see is right way up. So even though we've gone upside down, it's actually the right way up. And if I went the right way up, then it would appear upside down. That's just the way it is. Not much I can do about it. So that's how you make sure that you print the right way up when you um, print to file from uh, from document viewer, which uh, I think is actually called events, but um, its name on Ubuntu is document viewer, which is yeah, events, um, which is easier for, for newbies. So now that you've got that and you've gone through and you've printed out all your slides for the for the for the term, you want to turn them into one big. Sorry, you want to turn them into one big um, file. You want to concatenate them. So instead of having ten and twelve, whatever, one hundred and thirty-seven. So this is all the slides in one file, which makes it really easy to take it down and get it printed. But then you, what's also neat is if you have them uh, numbered, so all the way to 137. Now how do you do that? Well first we want to concatenate. So the way to do that is you add the files, and we'll go to go to the appropriate folder, extra slides, print, and you see, so you got this, so you just select the files you want, add them, they, they'll get added here, and uh, if you haven't numbered your files properly, or if you want to change the order, you can just move them up and down the order, and you're just in the concatenate, which is the default, and then you just go save. So you save as, and we'll call it exam print 2013 demo, PDF, and away you go. And uh, very shortly you should see the file appear in your chosen directory. So there we go, MLL, triple one, exam print, demo, and as you can see it's got 137 pages, so it's a concatenation of all the other files. And then finally to add page numbers, I couldn't find an application on Linux that could do it, but I'm running this freeware application uh, in Wine called a-pdf, and you can get it from here, a-pdf.com. They say it's free, they ask you to donate, so donate please, uh, and it's a really simple application to use, so you just find the um, find the appropriate, so you go demo, and you just number it, and you can add, you can put it left or right, so we'll put it right, and we'll say uh, print demo, and it gives it a, a prefix, and then you just click process, and give it a name, so demo number, big letters, and there you go. So now you have Sorry. <clears throat> so
So now you have your concatenated file with page numbers print demo 137, print demo 136, etc. And that's that. So I hope this has been helpful to you. Uh, if you want to get a PDF chain, just go to the Ubuntu Software Center. So, Software Center. There we go. Sorry, my computer is a little bit slow. I've probably got lots of stuff going on at the moment. Uh, but if you hang on, you'll be rewarded with the view of it. So, PDF chain, or if you just type in PDF, but you'll find PDF chain. So, GUI. So, it's actually the command line PDF TK, uh, but I find that the GUI's really easy to use and much easier than going on the command line. Not that I object to using the command line, but uh, for, for people who aren't inclined, this is really handy. So it's free, you just you just install it. Anyway, that's uh, that from me, so feel free to leave comments down below, and if you have any questions, please uh, let me know. So thanks for watching this Clockwork PC demo. See ya!